If p of x is given by 3x square plus 1 plus 4m into x plus m square plus 5 and the zeros of the polynomial are 1 0 is one third of the other 0 like they are alpha comma 3 alpha 1 0 is one third of the other 0 we have to find out what is the value of m. We have been given a polynomial p of x and we have been told that the 1 0 is one third of the other 0. So we have taken them as alpha comma 3 alpha. Now we need to find out the value of m for that our approach to solve the problem will be to leverage the relationship between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. For that let us write down if ax square plus bx plus c is our quadratic polynomial then alpha beta are zeros then sum of the zeros is given by minus b by a and product of the zeros is given by c by a here alpha is alpha and beta is 3 alpha now let us find out what are our values of a b c here a is equals to 3 b is 4m plus 1 and c equals to m square plus 5. What is alpha plus beta? Alpha plus beta is alpha plus 3 alpha 4 alpha. What is alpha into beta? Alpha into beta is alpha into 3 alpha 3 alpha square. Let us write down first this condition. Alpha plus beta is 4 alpha but that is equals to minus b by a. So, we can go ahead and write down 4 alpha equals to minus b by a that is minus of 4m plus 1 divided by 3. Similarly, alpha beta is 3 alpha square but that is equals to c by a. c is m square plus 5 divided by a equals to 3. Now, we will take these two conditions and we will try to equate alpha square there so that we can calculate the value of m. So, let us go ahead and do that in the next step. From the first equation, we get alpha equals to minus of 4m plus 1 divided by 12 or can we square it on both sides and say alpha square equals to minus 4m plus 1 whole square which is 4m plus 1 whole square divided by 12 square that is 144. From the second equation we can see that 3 alpha square equals to m square plus 5 divided by 3. So, we can write down alpha square equals to m square plus 5 divided by 9. Now, equating alpha square from both the equations we get 4m plus 1 whole square divided by 144 equals to m square plus 5 divided by 9. 9 will cancel 16 times we will have 16 into m square plus 5 equals to 4m plus 1 whole square. Let us simplify that. We will get 16m square plus 80 equals to 4m plus 1 whole square a plus b whole square. So, that is 16m square plus 80m plus 1. Now, 16m square 16m square cancel. We get 8m equals to 79 or m equals to 79 divided by 80. 8, 79 divided by 8. So, 8 m equals to 79, m equals to 79 divided by 8. Let us have a recap of this problem. We have been given a polynomial and we have been told that 1 0 is 1 third of the other 0. So, we took them as alpha 3 alpha. You can also take them as alpha alpha by 3 also that is your choice. I just do not want fraction. So, I have taken alpha 3 alpha. Sum of the zeros is 4 alpha. Product of the zeros is 3 alpha square. 
but sum of the zeros is minus b by a and product of the zeros is c by a. Now we have two conditions in with respect to alpha. So we squared the first equation got alpha square and also from the second equation we got alpha square equated both of them simplified we got the value of m as 79 divided by 8.